If the wear plate was removed for replacement, carefully center the new plate on the back cover and secure it with the hardware. The wear plate must be concentric to prevent binding when the back cover is installed. Replace the back cover O-rings and lubricate them with a generous amount of number 2 grease. Clean any scale or debris from the contacting surfaces in the pump casing that might interfere or prevent a good seal with the back cover. Screw the four adjusting screws into the tapped holes in the back cover plate until they are just flush with the machine surface on the back side of the cover plate. Align the back cover plate over the studs and slide it into the pump casing. Use two hand nuts on diagonally opposing studs to press the back cover into the pump casing until the wear plate just touches the impeller when the shaft is turned by hand. Tighten the hand nuts evenly to avoid binding. With the wear plate just touching the impeller, turn the two free adjusting screws until they engage the pump casing. Position the locking collars over the adjusting screws so the holes in the collars align approximately with the holes in the cover plate. There are 18 detents on the inside diameter of each locking collar. Indexing the collars one detent on the adjusting screws represents approximately five thousandths of an inch of wear plate clearance. The recommended clearance between the wear plate and the impeller is 10 to 20 thousandths. Loosen the hand nuts used to press the back cover into the pump casing one full turn. Pull the collars off the adjusting screws, index them three detents counterclockwise, and then reinstall the collars on the adjusting screws. Use the collars to turn the adjusting screws clockwise until the holes in the locking collars realign with the tapped screw holes in the back cover plate. Secure the locking collars to the back cover plate with the hardware. Now over time it may be necessary to repeat the adjustment process to compensate for normal wear between the impeller and the wear plate. When all of the adjustment has been used on the back cover side of the pump, an additional 125 thousandths of an inch of adjustment may be obtained by removing the rotating assembly adjusting shims. The initial step in this procedure is to allow an installed pump to completely cool before draining liquid from the pump casing. Remove the back cover, remove the rotating assembly adjusting shims, and then reinstall the hardware securing the rotating assembly to the pump casing. 